relationships the day after. That's the conversation we're going to have here today on Relationship Thursday. How you guys doing? This is Ron Simplify Myers, Arthur Podcaster, and your Uplifting Life Partner. Now, today what I wanted to talk about is yesterday, that's why I'm calling it the day after, we actually put my mom to rest. Um, they, for those that don't know, she passed away uh, 3-26-21, and here it is 4 22 um, And that's how long it was taking actually to get her service done. Matter of fact, um, the place we actually wanted to do the entire ceremony, we wouldn't have been able to do it until May. So it would have been two months later. So we had to actually split it up to where we could actually go ahead and get the service done and then we can uh, have her body transferred to the actual uh, place where we'll put her body actually to rest, which we'll actually do that today on the 22nd. Um, but we did the service, I should say, yesterday. But really what I wanted to talk about is I watched a lot of different things going as far as the different relationships. I saw people that were going through the hard time of being able to deal with the loss of my mom and they have isolated themselves from the world which you know like we said in most cases is isn't healthy but people have to deal with things especially in the initial stages the way they feel uh, best but I saw the different people and all the challenges were going on as far as being able to deal with this. The fact that we all came together as a family and saw these people come out of their shell and get back to some normality in terms of laughter um, and just enjoying the human side of the world. Uh, it was incredible to watch. At the same time, I saw someone else who was going through uh, a battle with a roommate where threatening messages are being thrown uh, thrown out and basically wanting to fight and this and that and it's a roommate and you just kind of just all these different relationships that are going on and it helps you see even more clarity in terms of how important relationships actually are how they actually are the key to the human experience it's the most important thing that we have. And so you want to make sure, and that's why I talk about Relationship Thursday and Self Love Monday, about why you have to get at peace, why you have to, um, you know, get at peace with yourself first so that you can have relationships that actually work. Being able to recognize the possibility of toxic relationships and cutting those off before they actually... Uh, grow into uh, a long-term relationship. As we always hear the saying that people are in your life for a certain time and some for a lifetime, but some people just for a short period. And you get to see uh, how important all of those relationships actually are in your human walk. And the reason, again, I talk about on Self Love Monday and really about getting you at peace is so that you can avoid those toxic ones. Um, fortunately, if you if you learn a lot of the stuff that I teach, you can recognize those people immediately and make sure you don't create a relationship with them. And, and then by that, I'm talking about, because we'll always have relationships, even if they're ones we avoid um, because they're not healthy. But you'll be able to recognize the ones that are toxic and you won't make those long-term commitments to those relationships those will be the ones that are definitely a short short season that you have the, the those particular people in your life because of the fact that they are toxic and they're not healthy for you um but most important that i got out of the entire day was watching again people that were basically uh lost hurting, and the coming together with others and how it was a healing process 
for a lot of people. And again, like I said, watching the laughter. I mean, for, for some people, they needed to get here to be with the family, specifically because they knew because of the loss of my mom that they wouldn't be able to do this on their own uh, where they were living and dealing with it by themselves. And so therefore, uh, the coming together of the relationships of uh, people uh, spending time together. I mean, you don't want to actually experience and learn the importance of relationships in this particular manner. I mean, of course, I'm talking about the atmosphere of what took place, the loss of a life in order for us to recognize the importance of relationships. Now, I understand. I, I, don't, I didn't need a loss of a loved one in order to understand the importance of relationships. I've always uh, understood the most important thing in the world are your relationships. And you need to be good. Again, that's why I, I, I do so much focus on self-love. And because then, again, it'll push you into the best relationships. And then you get to see the best in the world, the best in life. And the journey that we take, the human experience becomes that much more incredible. But we have to understand the toxic ones are needed. Um, I know sometimes you, people hear that and go, I don't need no toxic. Yes, sometimes those need to enter your life for you to appreciate the ones that do work, the ones that are important. Um, there's, as I've always said, there's, there's two sides to everything and we don't understand without some of what the world will call negativity, um, negative experiences, negative people, all those are actually important for us to really enjoy this journey because then we know what we're, it gets us more clarity on what we're actually looking for, which are the great relationships, the ones that mean the most to us, um, Without the other ones, we wouldn't know and we wouldn't appreciate the healthy ones. And to, and then to begin to surround us. It's kind of, uh, you guys have heard me say before that if you could snap your fingers and everything that you wanted in life could just show up. Within about three to five minutes, and, and probably a lot less than that, you would have everything that you wanted in life. And then you would look around and go, is this it? There's got to be more because if everything in life becomes so simple, then you don't really appreciate what you have a hold of. Not only that, as a human being, you start to ask, what is your life about? What is the world about? What is, what is this journey about? And those toxic relationships, those toxic situations um, the, the things we call struggles, the things we call negativity, um, those things are needed because those are the things that helped us grow and then create more of the positive, uh, moving in the direction in which we want to go relationships and helps us to appreciate the world and our part that we play in that world. So, the whole purpose of this video today was to basically say that something I've always known, but something I've felt again in my heart to share is the importance of relationships and making sure you get the right ones, making sure you're equipped to recognize the right ones to not have so much stress and negativity. I'm not saying go search those things out in order to appreciate. They're going to cross your path. Um, but what I'm saying is to be able to recognize those, take the lessons from those, and, and, and give you more uh, clarity so that you can find the relationships that do work and then spend majority of your time in those relationships because those are actually the ones that are going to bring you the most um, significance in this journey. As uh, Tony Robbins always uh, says, and I agree, uh, what people are going to remember most is the moments. Not necessarily the life journey itself, but it's always going to be those moments. And that's what we want to cre create. A lot of great moments. 
and you'll recognize that almost every great moment that you have, there were others involved, uh, others that were a part of it, because that is what makes the uh, the journey that much uh, greater. Because even if you did something that was significant and no one was around, the first thing you want to do is call those that are closest to you and share what is taking place because relationships are the key to the human experience. So make sure you take care of those relationships that you do have. Learn to love the ones that are in your life. Don't wait until you lose those. Um, as we did uh, for my mom on her 70th, uh, fifth birthday, um, which was almost a year ago, we did a, uh, a Zoom call, and everyone got to share with her the value that she brought to their life. And it was an incredible event. And we basically said that was her being given her flowers while she's alive. And I think we all need to take that particular lesson and learn to do that um, more often with those that are around us and give them their flowers. Let them know the value that they bring to your life. Let them know how much you love them. Give them a hug. Um, I'm hoping through COVID that for a lot of you, you've recognized that, um, the importance of relationships and that you make sure, again, that you uh, take care of those that are the closest to you. Make those relationships work. Be humble. Don't let your pride and ego get in the way and create uh, toxic relationships because of your pride and ego. And, and throw away relationships that do have a lot of value because of that pride and ego. And um, But the bottom line is recognize those that are important and significant and make sure you do everything you can to make sure they know how much you care and make those relationships prosper. And the journey that we walk will become that much more pleasurable. So that was the main reason for today's talk. I just wanted to say it because this is the day after um, we actually had the service for my mom. And again, I just watched the different relationships, the things that was going on. And just watched, again, some people come out of their shell who had basically locked themselves from the world uh, ever since this happened, who were able to come out and enjoy being with family and start to smile again and start the healing process even more, which they were going through the healing process on their own. But I believe there's no better way than to get around those that you love and help that healing a lot faster. So learn again not to take uh, relationships for granted. Um, love those that are around you and, and make sure they know it. And as you guys know, it ain't right, it ain't wrong. It is my opinion. Uh, for those of you that uh, I look forward to seeing you, I'm gonna change the way I end my stuff and just tell you about the next uh, talk instead of saying Relationship Thursday and, and um, Self-Love Monday, for those of you, you know how I usually say, for those of you who like one or the other, I'm just gonna talk about the next one. Because <laughs> hopefully you'll follow all of, all of what I do. And the next one is all that you're concerned about. So that, that is going to be my hope. So I'll look forward to talking to you guys on Monday, on uh, Self-Love Monday. And again, just remember, as I always say, if you're not having fun, you should be doing something else. Take care of those that are around you. Appreciate the relationships that you have. And I'll talk to you guys on Monday. Take care. Bye-bye.